Mission to Mars. Shining bright in the night sky, the planet Mars was named by the ancient Romans for their god of war. They thought the planet's reddish color made it look like an angry light in the heavens. For many years, people wondered if there was life on the red planet. The idea fired the imaginations of science fiction writers and Hollywood filmmakers. In 1965, American scientists sent the satellite Mariner 4 to fly by Mars. It sent back the very first close-up photographs of the planet. Would there be evidence of strange alien beings? Instead of amazing cities and alien life forms, the photos showed large craters across a rocky surface and no signs of life. More recently, scientists landed robot rovers on Mars. The robots roam the land and send back information about the soil, rocks, and craters. For example, now we know that there is ice under the Martian surface. This data is helping scientists plan a new and exciting mission to Mars, one that will involve humans instead of rovers. Mars is a less cozy place to live than Earth. It has an average temperature of 80 degrees below zero. There's almost no oxygen to breathe, and the atmosphere is too thin to block out dangerous radiation from the sun. Scientists are still figuring out how to keep people safe and healthy on Mars. The first astronauts there would set up a home base. They would sleep underground, where they'd be protected from radiation. Mars astronauts will have to grow their own food. Plants would also help provide oxygen, so the astronauts wouldn't have to wear masks while they were inside. Gravity on Mars is one third as strong as it is on Earth. Scientists are investigating how being so light and bouncy could affect an astronaut's body over long time periods. They want to make sure astronauts don't get sick while they're exploring Mars. The U.S. Space Agency hopes to send the first people to Mars by the year 2040. Could you be one of them?